Welcome to another video. If you're new here, I'm Ollie. I'm a writer. I'm currently writing my first novel, which is an epic science fantasy story. If you've been following along with some of my other videos, you'll have seen that so far, as the writing's been progressing, it's been going pretty well. I've been on kind of a roll with it, I'd say, for the last few months. I'm finished with the beginning of it. I'm well into the middle of the story now. But if you watched the last video, you'll have seen that for the first time, really, in the process of writing this book, I've kind of hit a bit of a roadblock. I don't know if you'd call it writer's block. I don't think you would. It's not that bad. I don't want to be that dramatic about it. But it's what people call the sticky middle or the tricky middle or, you know, pick your word. But it's just difficult to do the middle part of this story. And I don't quite know why that is, but I'm beginning to get through it, I think. And I've managed to do some writing in the last few days and catch up with some of my word count goals and things. But I really need to regain the momentum that I had. So as I've said before, I think you'd call me kind of a 95% pantser when it comes to writing. For the most part, I just write and it comes to me as I'm writing. And I know I can always work on it later, especially because this is a first draft. Up until now, everything's kind of just come to me fairly naturally because I have a good idea of where I'm going in my head. I haven't really planned it as such, but I kind of know where it's going to go. But I've just hit this part in the middle of the story where... I don't quite know how to get from A to B, or from B to C, I guess it is now, from the middle to sort of the rest of it. And there's just this kind of chasm between where I am and where I want to be or need to be later on uh, that I just need to figure out how to cross. So I thought I'd try a little experiment today, as you might be able to tell in front of me, I have my typewriter. This isn't so much trying something new as it is going back to something I was doing before. But if you watched a previous video of mine, which was all about writing a book on a typewriter, I'll link it below in the description. Now, in that video, I talked about how part of my writing routine, at that time at least, was that I would type out on my typewriter what I had written the day before. And that would help me sort of get back into the swing of it before I did more writing that day. But it would also sort of solidify it in my mind a little bit after just sort of letting it all come out and writing it all out as quickly as possible the day before. So yeah, a little confession to make. That's not really what I do now as such. I, I did do that when I was sort of writing the beginning of the story. And I've got quite a bit of it in here in the in the folder. But that sort of fell away as part of my writing routine, especially as I really got stuck into the story and I had other work to do. I just didn't really have the time in the mornings to, to get my typewriter out and sit here and copy everything that I did the day before. But if you watch that previous video I made about this typewriter, I speak quite a lot about why I use it and why I think it benefits your creativity to use something like this. And one of those benefits I find is that it really grounds you in what you're writing because it's such a physical process. You know, there's no you know, pixels and, and computers and keyboards. And well, there is a keyboard, but it's completely different. You know, basically punching out the letters rather than tapping them out gently. But yeah, what I'm getting at is that you feel more of a connection between what you're physically making. It becomes more of a physical object that you're making this book rather than just something that lives on a file in your memory bank on your computer somewhere in the cloud. So going back to my story, where I am now, I've actually kind of skipped ahead a little bit for the first time in this draft, and I've just skipped out that whole difficult section and moved on to the next thing I know I'm going to write. But I just feel like there's got to be something I can do to get that momentum back, because I don't like leaving that hole there. I know I can go back later, but I worry about missing out on character development in the process, especially because I'm a pantser, so all that stuff kind of happens in a linear kind of way, if you see what I mean. So I'm worrying that if I have missed that out, then the characters won't be how they're meant to be at this point in the story, if that all makes sense. <laughs> so I thought I'm going to try a little experiment, and I'm going to go back to what I was doing at the very beginning of this story and write out some of the section that I was working on before I got stuck, and just see if I get back into the swing of it a little bit, and see if I reconnect with with what I was doing. And if that doesn't work, then at least it'll be nice to have used my typewriter, because I haven't used it in a little while. So, so that's my whole thesis, I think you'd call it, behind this video and what I want to do today. I also might go out and do some writing later on if I have time, but really I'm just focusing on this today. So yeah, let's get everything set up and get writing.
so there's one aspect to this which you can't quite show in a video and it's something I'd kind of forgotten about but and I don't know if this is specific to this typewriter or not but there's a really nice kind of smell when you're using it if that's I know that sounds weird but I don't know if it's the I don't know if it's the ink as it's being sort of you know smacked against the page but there's just a nice kind of metallic almost slightly kind of old fusty smell which maybe that's just because it's like an old machine I don't know it's actually a smell which I remember from my other typewriters because believe it or not I have at least two others I think I've got two others one of which is down here and the other one is somewhere else I'm not sure where yeah that's just something as I was typing now it's just something I'd completely forgotten about which is kind of a weird aspect um but it's nice I like it it's it's cool it's like Again, it's part of that physical aspect of making something. You know, I talk about this in the other video, which I've linked below as well, but it's sometimes with writing, it's a creative pursuit, which doesn't always have that sort of physical aspect that's something else like um, sculpture or uh, painting or even like photography has, especially when you're typing on a laptop or something, you know, it doesn't have that physical aspect, which a lot of other art does. And this kind of brings back a little bit of that, I think. I think that's the whole point I'm trying to get at really with this video and with the other one, because, you know, your mind and your body are connected. They're the same thing, you know. Sometimes you need those two things to be in sync. So yeah, like, and this is, I think this is quite a good way of doing it. Yeah. I'll show you actually the other one, because it's just right here. There it is. Nice and dusty. Hang on, I'll find somewhere with better lighting that I can show you. Yeah, this is an older typewriter that I've had for quite a few years now, actually. Maybe 10 years or so. So yeah, it's a Brother Deluxe 800. It's Japanese. So yeah, it's it's a nice one. I do like this one, but it's just... I never found it as nice to use as my blue one. It's sort of a bit stiff, a bit clunky. It probably needs a bit more TLC, you know, than, than the other one does. It's the kind you're likely to find in places like markets and antique shops, those kind of places. Yeah, I think loads of them were made. I don't really know anything about the history of these things. It is a nice one, actually. Maybe I, maybe I should start using this one more. Maybe I'll give that a go. The next typewriter video I do, maybe I'll try and use this one. But yeah, it's just it's, it feels a little bit clunkier sometimes and not quite as smooth. I don't know. I can't explain it. It's just a personal preference thing, maybe. It is a good one. It's in, it's in sort of decent enough condition, I think. They both need their rollers changing. The other one does too, because they're meant to be sort of a bit softer than this and it dampens the sound slightly. It's still pretty de decent. I, I'd recommend these anyway, you know, if you see one. Okay, so it's tomorrow now. So yeah, after I worked on the typewriter yesterday, I went out to do some writing at a couple of cafes that I like to go to. And it is interesting, the effect that it had, because, you know, I didn't expect it to fix things straight away. You know, I didn't expect it to immediately get me back into the momentum of it all. But just the act of retyping what I had written before, it did help kind of almost sort of meditate on what the mood of the story is meant to be at that point and it did actually help me do more writing so I actually did about 850 words yesterday which is good and more importantly it was on the bit that I was originally stuck on so I guess it did work but I'm still you know it's still not as easy as it was before I'm still finding it quite difficult this middle part that was something I also realized yesterday that I think one of the reasons why this middle section is so difficult is because the feeling of the story has changed. This is something that someone commented. Uh, hang on, let me let me find out who commented because it was I found it really useful. So yeah, a writer's corner 1986 commented this. What they were saying was that in their project they found it difficult when they've hit the change in mood in the story or the change in tension, and that got me thinking about this middle section of the story and why I'm finding it so difficult because it is a transitional part of the story where things are getting more tense, you know, more things are going wrong for them all and it's getting more exciting. And I think particularly because the point I'm at, a big thing has just happened 
and it has changed the vibe of the story. So, you know, I guess it's no wonder that it makes it harder because so much of the momentum that I had was built on the mood and the tone and like, and that was really what was keeping me on the right track, basically. Especially because, as I was saying, I'm a pantser, so that is really guiding me as I'm writing. So yeah, it kind of sounds obvious when I say it out loud, but you know, you kind of have to discover these things as you go, don't you? So I think that's exactly why it was so useful doing the typing on the typewriter yesterday. Because like I said, it helped me sort of meditate a bit on the mood and like how it was changing and what it was gonna be now from now on in the story. So yeah, success, that was good. I'm gonna be doing it again. So I think I'll leave it there today. Uh, thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, yeah, if you want to buy me a coffee, the link's in the description. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.